at guard from Lower Marion High School, number 24, Kobe Bryant. Phillips blocked by Diamond, picked up by Kobe Bryant. Bryant's got one man to beat, it's Martin, who grabs him. I'm going to say, in the act of shooting. Uh, Bryant over the line down the other end, he's taken 63 free throws in this series, and he's only missed five, that's a 92%. It's about 13 a game, which is a tremendous number. You do that math in, the, in your head right now if you had that one sitting there. Statistician Dave Freed, responsible for all <laughs> mathematical problems on these broadcasts. Kobe Bryant has something in common with Coach Van Gundy because he said the same exact thing to me in the summer. You take care of your business, I'll see you in the Western Conference Final, and you were right. <laughs> Fisher to Bryant, shot clock at eight. Bryant gets inside, elevates, and gets the roll. J.R. Smith on Bryant. Smith has actually played some nice defense in this series. Ariza gets it, drives inside, and throws it down. Brian, the drive, looked like he was going to throw it down and a little scoop finger roll. Well, he's not just looking to score. We watched him take up a game four with his ability to make plays and dish the ball out. He's doing a great job of being aggressive and not just selling and shooting jumpers tonight. Luke Walton shot in and out. So, score of the goal is Walton. Gets a nice feed from Kobe Bryant. Bryant is actually leading the Lakers in assists in this series. He got eight in game five. They've blown three fast breaks already in this game. Odom flips it up and in. And Lamar Odom off the bench with six points. You know, he understands. Double team is coming. When it does, he's a willing passer early on, looking to get other guys involved offensively. It was so effective in game five, and he's looking to continue. Derek Fisher trying to make a jumper. Gets it to go, a three-pointer. And the Lakers four for eight from downtown. They're back up by four. Bryant and doing a lot of passing here in the first half. Nice feed to Gasol. Gets it back off the deflection, draws the foul. Rene his second foul. And Kobe Bryant will shoot two. And I like that Phil Jackson stood up after that drop pass from Kyle Gasol. Yelled at him, said, you got to get tough. This is playoff basketball. You have to put yourself in position to catch it, understand that help's going to be there, and look to attack. So Nene still has one foul, Martin has two, and Brian hits another free throw. A much harder team as far as for Chauncey Billups to play with here because on their pick and rolls as Bryant knocks it in. Well, that's exactly what happened in the last possession. They're going right back to Bryant, one-on-one -on -one against Smith. Bryant to Ariza, an open three, knocks it down again. That's his third three-pointer. The coach, part of the problem is Carmel Anthony is pretty much in no man's land. He's half doubling, not doubling. You have to either commit or stay at home on your man. And if they have to make a decision between Ariza and Odom, I think they're going to go with Ariza. Bryant knocks down the jumper. Coming up on a minute remaining in the first half, Bryant. Puts it in. Kobe Bryant now with 15, and this is the largest lead of the first half. There's about a four-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Anthony guarding Kobe Bryant. Anthony on the drive. Bank shot won't go. Nearly tipped in by Odom. Gasol gets it back. Bryant steps back for three. It's good. Kobe Bryant drills the three with 4.1 remaining. Here goes Carmelo Anthony. Plenty of time. Drives down the lane. Running layup. No oh, good. And that ends the first half. A 9-1 run. Kobe Bryant thought he was fouled on the initial shot, but it wound up being beneficial to the Lakers. Because it looked like he got hit on the way to the basket initially. Well, you get the impression that this guy realizes this is a must-win ball game. Step back, knocks down the three, knows right away it's good. Outstanding half, starting off being a facilitator and then taking over offensively. He has 18 in the first half, and he's with Doris. So the Trevor Ariza got you started. He had plenty of uncontested threes. What were those a product of? Well, you know, just them double teaming. And zoning up whenever I have the ball. Powell has the ball. And we did a good job with our spacing. You got hot late. What was your what was so successful about the offense? Well, you know, just getting open looks. You know, if a guy's guarding me, got his hands down, I'm gonna shoot it. And uh, you know, I got a good rhythm. How do you make sure you close this thing out in the second half? You stay disciplined. Stay disciplined defensively. Thank you, Kobe. Mike. How about continuing to shoot 60% from the field doors? Because that's what they did. They also hit six of ten from three-point range. 
Kobe Bryant said he did not want to have the same mistake happen in the previous series when they got blown out in game six on the road, had to play game seven. He's doing everything possible to make sure that doesn't happen. Well, I love this mindset to start the ball game. Realize I have to get other guys involved. Certainly did that. The way to do that is recognize where the double team is coming from. Head up, realize the double team drops past to Lamar Odom. Good job putting your teammate in position. Once again, understand it's a setup. Come on and help. You're in no man's land. Playing as Clazer, finding the teammate Luke Walton diving to the hoop. Puts it on point. Good job of executing. Once again, take the double team patiently, willing to take it. Puts Trevor Reza in position to score. Then getting back says, I see you. Now it's time to take over offensively. Gets into the scene. Rhythm jump shot. The mid-range game. How about stepping back? Defense on its heels. Pay the price. And then off the offensive rebound. Kick out. Knocks down the dagger three and doesn't give up there. And the half defensively gets back. Says to Carmelo Anthony, not on my watch. Outstanding job of picking and choosing his spots. And in the second quarter, taking over offense. The Lakers are playing a ton of zone, a lot of elbows and boxes, and they have got to be more patient on that end of the floor, Mike. Bryant pulls up doors, knocks it down. Kobe Bryant with 21. Shot clock down to seven. Fisher to Bryant. Bryant to Walton. Walton flips it up and gets it to go. Lakers have 20 assists. The ball movement has been good all game. Walton steps back and knocks down the shot. Luke Walton doing a strong job off the bench as Kobe Bryant gets his eighth assist, same as last game. Bryant on Phillips. Gets inside, flips it up, banks it in, and a foul. Kobe Bryant with a chance for a three-point play. Phillips defended him well, too, on this one. And turns around and says, he can't guard me. Nothing personal, but not just Phillips. That's just strength, the ability to take the contact and finish. You get the sense that Bryant and the Lakers are trying to take this game right now. And they talked the last couple of days about not letting happen again what occurred in the Houston series. Where they were forced to go to a game seven. Trying to wrap it up here and give themselves some rest before an NBA Finals appearance as they now have their largest lead, a 16-point advantage with five to play in the third. This is a very good performance, by the way. Bryant. Oh, Kobe Bryant. Another one, and it's a 20-point lead for the LA Lakers. They are taking it to Denver here in the third. The PA system trying to fire up the crowd. The Nuggets play has not been able to do that. Smith on Bryant. Bryant falling away, draws the foul, almost put it in. And he'll go back to the line as Smith picks up his fourth. They are 13 for 13 from the line. Kobe's hit all seven of his. When you want to win big in this league, you have to have a guy on your team that stops the bleeding. Because other teams are going to go on runs. You see what the Lakers do, over reliable. They put the ball in the hands of the best player. And he, time and time again, comes through. And it's yet another free throw. How the Saul doing a little bit of everything for the Lakers here in the second half. The Saul has the height advantage. Left-handed rolls it in. Plays it. I hold it. The Saul to Bryant. Nice fake. There's the drive and the finish. Beautiful execution. The chance of defense here at the Pepsi Center. Nuggets season on the line right now. Seven on the shot clock. Bryant to the basket, lays it in. But here's my problem, Coach. No denial of the pass to Bryant. If you're J.R. Smith, understand the situation. Force somebody else to make the play. Trots out, allow him to catch it, and then no help on the dribble penetration. Smith has five fouls. Kobe Bryant for three. 35 for Bryant. And it's back up to 19. Timeout Denver. And once again, this building goes quiet. Just a brilliant performance from Kobe Bryant. Yeah, and it's not just his 35 points and nine assists. He's always constantly teaching, talking, mentoring. But you can't have this credibility if you're not bringing your game. 35 points, 9 rebounds. They know he has as much at stake in these playoffs as anyone in that locker room. He wants this championship, I believe, 
as much as anyone in that organization. Great play from Anderson. And then Chauncey Phillips just smacks him in the head. And after the foul, look at Kobe Bryant. He immediately runs to Pal Gasol, has a discussion with him. We got bigger fish to fry. There's no time for you to respond. Stay focused, knock down the free throws, and let's get out of here. That's leadership. Let's listen to a recent hello from Kobe Bryant talking. This is what we really got to figure out here, Joe. We're playing desperation basketball. Hey, no mercy, man. No mercy. That's always his theme, no mercy for the opponent. I call that Kobe doing work. That was that film that Spike Lee did. And even Kobe Bryant, after watching it, says, boy, I never shut up. I talk all game. But it's always... I mean, he's changed quite a bit the last couple of years in terms of the encouragement. But he also talks about sometimes he has to be the bad guy. Sometimes his teammates don't like him. And they've hit all 22 of their free throws. Bryant to Gasol. And Gasol flips it up and in. Another assist for Kobe Bryant. That's his 10th. And George Carl will call. Probably his final timeout of the season. 112 to 88. A complete domination for the Lakers who open up their playoffs against the Utah Jazz, beating the Jazz in five games in that physical, grueling series that went seven. Lakers finally winning on their home floor. A tough battle there. And then it even got tougher against Denver. They split the first two games, most of them close. Then won the big game five and Kobe Bryant. And the Lakers coming here on the road in game six and putting together a spectacular performance. That look tells it all. He wanted it to end tonight. And he made sure of it. A brilliant performance from Kobe Bryant. That last look, the definition of the cat that ate the canary. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what that means, but that's the cat that ate the canary. But it comes to an end tonight as the LA Lakers are Western Conference champions. They win the series in six games. Anthony and Bryant, such good friends. Really bonded this summer with Team USA, Kobe Bryant, George Carl, nice exchange. And you always like to see this respect. These two teams went at it, very physical at times. The two coaches shake. You always love to see this at the end. No matter how hard a fought the series is at the end of the day, this is a family. When you talk about NBA players and coaches, nothing but love, respect, and admiration for a great series. Ended by Kobe Bryant's 35 points and 10 assists. He's with Doris Burke. Kobe, Mark Jackson and Jeff Van Gundy called the effort your guys gave tonight a championship effort. What pleased you most about what your team did here? Just that. You know, we had the effort and then we had the execution to match. And, uh, you know, it took us a while to really get a feel for the team and our opposition, but we got it tonight. You guys seem to have found something in game five and game six. What was it? Well, it just how to take take advantage of the defense. You know, we saw something and how they were playing us, and uh, we executed extremely well. This has not been an easy playoffs. It has had some bumps in the road for you guys. What do you take from what you've learned in each of these series that helps you win the finals? Well, it's just gained valuable experience. You know, it's, it's been a physical march all the way back to the finals. It's been every series has been tough, and uh, you know now we're back at a place where we didn't finish our business last year. Hopefully we'll do it this year. Game five, you termed yourself a decoy. Tonight you were assertive offensively. What were you looking to get started? Well, you know, I felt like tonight, you know, they gave me more space to operate. You know, after my teammates started knocking down shots, they started playing me straight up for a little bit, and uh, then I was able to take advantage of it. Pau Gasol, when you guys built your biggest lead in the third period, he was sensational. When you get the ball to him, what happens? Well, the defense has to collapse. And, you know, and the same thing with him. Um, you know, they had to double him, and he freed up shooters. And then they left him by himself, and he went to work. Kobe, congratulations. Good luck in the Thank finals. You.